Sharesies is currently the biggest investing platform in New Zealand. It lets you put your money into the Australian, American and New Zealand market. It's got over 600,000 users and it comes with lots of extra bonus features like a high interest savings account that gives you a 5% return, the ability to manage your KiwiSaver and monthly investing plans that help reduce your fees. During this video, I'll show you everything there is to know about Sharesies from setting up an account, figuring out what stocks you should be investing in, how to withdraw your money from Sharesies and of course the exact step-by-step -step process of actually buying some shares of a company on the platform. Firstly, you'll need to make an account Jump onto Google and search for Sharesies, click on the first link and then go to create an account. You can have an account with Sharesies if you're in Australia or New Zealand. So for this example, we'll go with New Zealand. So click on whatever country is relevant to you and then you'll have to start providing all the general pieces of info like email address, phone number, date of birth. After that, you'll have to provide some ID, either your driver's license or passport. This will take about three days to process and then your account will be verified and you'll be ready to start investing. After you're all set up, you have to verify your address and also the bank account that you will be withdrawing your money. Just sending through a utility bill like power or water will be fine for your address or on your bank statement, it will have your address there as well. When you are withdrawing money from Sharesies, it has to be into an account that you are the sole owner of. It can't be into a shared account. So just make sure you keep that in mind when you are sending through your verified bank information. When you're signing up, you can also use my referral link down below in the description box if you want to get a free $5 when you first make your account. Once your account is set up, verified and ready to go, you'll have to put some money onto the platform. So there's two main ways that this can be done either topping up with a credit card or with a bank transfer. I would definitely recommend avoiding the credit card. The fees can get pretty expensive. As an example, if you were to top up $1,000 onto Sharesies with a credit card, you're gonna pay $27 in fees versus a bank transfer, which is completely free. And transferring onto Sharesies is exactly the same as bank transferring one of your friends. You have on your Sharesies profile, a unique bank account number and reference number that you save onto your mobile banking app. Let's say that you're just using ASB. You would save Sharesies as a PayYE on your phone, copy and paste that unique bank account number and reference number, save it on your internet banking app. And then whenever you transfer Sharesies, you're just gonna always transfer to that same PayYE. If you're bank transferring over, it's gonna take about two to maybe three business days for the money to show up in your account. If you're with BNZ or Westpac, the bank transfer is instant, but if you're with one of the other banks like ASB, ANZ or Kiwi Bank, you're gonna have to wait those two to three business days. So you got your account set up, it's funded with money, now it's time to start investing. So in terms of the investment options, you of course have individual stocks and exchange traded funds available through Sharesies, and then there's the three different countries that you can invest in. So there's Australia, New Zealand, and America. If you're trying to figure out which country you should be investing in, I personally invest the most of my money into the American market. And the reason for that is because American stocks tend to have bigger increases in price because the American market essentially makes up virtually the highest percentage of the whole stock market in the entire world. So America owns 42% of all the money in the world stock market that's worth about $46 trillion. In comparison to Australia, which only owns one and a half percent or $1.7 trillion of the money in the world's global stock market. In terms of the different investment options that you have, there's individual stocks and ETFs. So we'll start with ETFs and these are exchange traded funds. These are a really good way to measure how different the types of returns that you can make between the three country stock markets offered by Sharesies. Australia, New Zealand and America each have their own ETF or exchange traded fund that will track the largest companies in that specific country. So in New Zealand, you have the NZX50, it's the 50 biggest companies in New Zealand. In Australia, you have the ASX200, again, the biggest 200 companies in the Australian market. And then lastly, there is the S&P 500 in America, or there's an ETF that tracks this index and it's called VOO or the Vanguard S&P 500 ETF. So in terms of the returns you can make between each of these three different countries, you can see on screen here the returns you would make 
from a $10,000 investment across five years. So with VOO, it's gone up 78%. So you would have $17,888. In Australia, the ASX 200, it's gone up about 21%. So you'd have $12,105. And then lastly, in New Zealand for the NZX 50, it's only gone up about 15% over the past five years. So your total return would only be $11,500. So if we jump into individual stocks, the trend of the American market beating out Australia and New Zealand does continue there as well. So if you look at an example like Tesla over five years, it's gone up 900% versus one of the biggest Australian stocks, Woolworths, it's only gone up 48%. And then lastly, in New Zealand for zero, it's gone up 141%. So America again will clearly beat out Australia and New Zealand in terms of the individual stock market returns. But again, wherever you wanna put your money is completely up to you, but the American market on average will give you the best return. Moving on to withdrawing your money from shares. Let's say you made a good investment, you got a nice return, and you wanna sell your shares and cash in on the profits. So how do you do that? Firstly, you're gonna to have to go over to your investment and click on the sell option. Personally, I just go with market sell, which is selling your shares at the current market price. After that, it takes about two to three days for those shares to be sold. Once they're sold and the money is settled in your shares' wallet, you're gonna to have to click on withdraw and then select the specific nominated bank account you want that money to get transferred into. So this is going back to the start of the video where you send through a screenshot of your bank statement and provided shares is a verified bank account where you can withdraw your profits into. Once you've gone through the process of withdrawing your funds into your bank account, it'll take another two to three business days for that money to show up. So if you sell your shares on Sharesies, it'll take normally about five business days or essentially a week for that money to show up in your own personal bank account. So moving into some of the bonus features that Sharesies offers, you can manage your KiwiSaver on Sharesies. There's different pre-made funds that focus on varying things, like if you want a high growth fund or more conservative and balanced fund, where you want a slower consistent growth over time and less volatility in your retirement money. You can also select individual companies to make up part of your KiwiSaver retirement scheme. And this is specific to only New Zealand businesses. You can't put American stocks into your pre-rate KiwiSaver fund. Sharesies also has a monthly plan option where it can help to reduce some of the fees for auto investments and you can also invest a certain amount of money per month with a max limit on how much you will be charged. So it can be good if you're investing quite a reasonable amount of money per month. If you're interested on the standard amount that Sharesies charges you instead of going with a monthly plan. For Sharesies, if you're paying as you go instead of using a monthly plan, you're gonna have a flat fee per investment whenever you buy or sell shares of a company. And the max fee that you'll be charged varies depending on the country. So in America, the max fee you'll be charged for investing or as high as the cost can go up to is five USD per investment. In Australia, it's 15 AUD. In New Zealand, it's 25 NZD. There's also a foreign exchange fee whenever you're investing in an overseas company. So if you're investing in the American market, you're gonna to have to pay 0.4% foreign exchange fee to convert your New Zealand dollar into the American dollar. Or if you're investing in the Australian market, you have to convert your NZD into AUD. And this can be done in the wallet feature. Before you invest into an American stock, you have to go over to your wallet and convert your currency over into the US dollar. Next, we'll be jumping into a step-by-step -step example of how to actually buy shares of a company using the Sharesies platform. Firstly, when you jump onto Sharesies, this is what the home screen looks like. It'll show you your investments, your savings, and your KiwiSaver scheme. If you wanna start putting your money into a specific company, just click on Explore, and then type in the stock that you're wanting to invest in. Let's say that we wanted to buy some shares of Tesla. We'll just type it in at the top here, and then it'll pop up. Or if we say wanted to invest into a New Zealand company like the NZX Top 50, we can click on that as well here. So we'll click on that option. And then as we scroll down, it's gonna give us a bit of financial info on the company. So the different returns across varying time points. So you can go one week, three months, or one year as well, just to get a bit of an idea on how that stock has been performing 
And then as you scroll down, it will show you things like the dividend yield, the market cap, and then the fees you have to pay. And then just go to buy. After that, you want to go to market buy in dollars. And this is where you're buying the shares of the company at the current market price. So click on that here and then go next. And then just select how much you want to invest. So enter the amount that you want to put in. Let's say you want to put in $100. And then you'll click on review by order and then those shares will show up in your shares account. When it comes to investing in New Zealand, it's all well and good to know how to use platforms like Sharesies, but there's other things to keep in mind, like how do you get your investing taxes sorted? There's some specific criteria where there's some paperwork you have to do of your own to make sure you keep everything above board. This can be with things like getting a dividend payment of 200 New Zealand dollars or more from an overseas company, like those in America, or if you have invested more than $50,000 in cash into businesses outside of New Zealand. Now, if you wanna make sure you're up to date with all the criteria where you have to declare your investments to make sure your taxes are sorted, then make sure to check out this video on screen to get a complete understanding of your obligations when investing in New Zealand.